All right, good morning, y'all beautiful rascals, you. Good to see y'all. Good morning. Good morning. It is. Woo. It's cold in Georgia. I don't know about where y'all at, but it's a little, you tear a good t-shirt up this morning. Forty-four there, yeah. That sounds like thigh boot weather there. <sighs> I heard can't sleep. Oh man, I tell you. <sighs> good morning, good morning. Well, I slept. I don't even, I don't even remember going to sleep. I woke up, didn't even have my phone charged. So like, yeah, all that happened. need to drink some hot coffee. I know I'm fitting to get me some in just a minute. I just, I just, I was just waiting. Woo. to get my kick start going. There it goes. What a beautiful day to, this morning. Beautiful morning. I tell you, today is the day you don't want to be wearing a belly shirt because uh, it's a little nippy. Just telling you the truth. It's a little nip out there. Got my coffee going.
Woo! Stephen, did the mail come in? Um, I got two packages yesterday. Uh, one of them was from Thelma. And my mama got something. Grandma got something. I got this. This came yesterday. I'd rather be fishing. There's a sign that says, I'd rather be holding you tight, but I didn't get that one. <laughs> that wasn't necessarily meant for you, Tony T. <laughs> <laughs> See the laughing face. I mean, I will give you a hug now. Let's just be honest. I mean, these Ziploc, these Ziploc uh, containers with the screw-on lid is the best. That's what I keep my sugar in. I believe I'm out of... How you run out of creamer and sugar at the same time? Oh, that's a lot of creamer. I thought I was going to use it all, but uh, using it all wind up being a lot, look like. Now, if y'all ever seen the mystery of the hole in the cup. It's a little, it's a little, uh, interesting getting it stirred up because it does have a tunnel right through the middle of it. it makes it fun when you wash it, too. Wow. Ain't my hair getting long, y'all? <laughs> somebody, this would be ideal time for somebody to say, why don't you just buy a normal cup? You know, I can't even argue that, because... But this is a donut cup, like yum, 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 yum. You know, like yum, yum, yum. It's got the bite marks in it. I don't know. I don't eat my donuts around the edges like that. I start at one side of it. Yeah, and it's like three bites later. I ain't got to worry about it no more. I know. That's what it seems like. That's what it seemed like. I got me a collection of Waffle House cups. <laughs> them, oh man, them's the cups you don't you don't want to get hit with. They thick. They heavy. I mean, I don't know why nobody won't do that, but I'm just saying, they heavy. They're a little heaviest. So 40 degrees today, and I slept with the fan on, with the heat off, so I feel spectacular. I've always felt like an Eskimo. I know how y'all feel now. But, like, I can't compare myself to y'all because y'all actually look forward to climbing in the igloo, and I'm like, wow. Yeah. That's uh, that's cold. My and I ain't got no socks on, so I'm like, 
I don't, that's my own fault, because I got plenty of socks. Um, but, we was in a hurry. We woke up in a hurry. So, got him to school. Got him to school and we was, you know, he's good to go. So if you didn't watch last night, I went live for, um, I don't know, maybe about an hour. And I worked over there on the fence. Um, I got my string lines up. So I got my perimeter marked out. Uh, <laughs> what's, what's Tony saying? <laughs> oh, let me look. I'm going for a haircut today. Take Stephen with you. What's up? It's Schultz weather. <laughs> that don't surprise me. Take Stephen. Look now. Well, it had been a while since I got that out of the way. I had to get that out of the way. Somebody told me that was funny yesterday. They was like, so how long you been growing your hair out? I said, I don't know, about a year. They said, so that's the last time you had any? I was like, Yeah, I wasn't expecting that, but thank you. <laughs> like, woo! Like, I just one of the few times in my life I didn't know what to say back. I mean, I don't know what what is, I don't know what you say to that. Um, I mean, that was being funny, but <laughs> whoopsie. <sighs> I figured Tony'd like that. Good morning, good morning. Y'all be careful out there this morning if you're traveling. Um, I done, I done ran into a crazy, like, crazy driver already. Like, I didn't, I don't mean I ran into him. I mean, like, I seen him. So, like, it was somebody stopping on a road that they don't usually stop on. Hey, good morning. There's my mama. Good morning, mama. I love you. And, um, so, like, these Hold on, let me get this out of the way. Okay. There's a car stopped at like where they don't usually stop. So there's just, just a assembly line of cars coming and everybody's blistering it. I don't know why everybody blisters it. I don't, I have no idea about that. I don't drive like that, okay. I drive at least 10 under the speed limit because, um, uh, I don't know. I'll spin a wheel, but I ain't really into speeding. I ain't never really like that. But, you know. Anyway, these cars is coming, and they everybody's flying, and everybody's, like, stopping. Well, I guess this one person was eating a corn dog because they didn't miss the memo. They missed the memo that, hey, we all coming. So they ran off the road. I was like, Woo! I seen the grass flying. They ran off the shoulder. The other car, like, it was a Mercedes. Like, in other words, the one that ran off the road, the one behind them, was like, oh, crap, I read their lips. And they turned towards me. So I ran off the road. They, like, come in between. They passed the stop cars and me. 
I was like, that's the first time in my life I'm glad I wasn't eating a corn dog. So like, all that happened this morning. You just never know. So what I'm saying, be careful because it ain't you. Uh, it's not always you that'll be at fault. seen that lady's eyes about this big when she's when she come into oncoming traffic i figured she was like the shoulder was full so i'll just take oncoming diesel truck uh like if her eyes was that big imagine what her butt was doing grab it it was grabbing the seat like boy could you imagine that <laughs> that's not cool Just saying, you ought to be careful out there. Got to be careful. Hey, you like, man, you can be just going along there, everything's fine, and then everything change. I got the post driver. Yes, sir. And I put a, so I did 110, I did 110 foot of post. Uh, I got them in yesterday evening. What I did, I made a short video yesterday, and I went out there, and I, Corn dogs are 99 cent on Wednesdays. What? What's the day? Let me look. Oh, that's right. Uh, today's Tuesday. I thought it was Monday. I apologize. Uh... Who does that, you know? Driving those posts is hard work. Hey, driving the posts is the easy part. The hard part is toting everything to where it needs to be. I miss something in chat. Um... Steven, let's go lay in the grass again today. That was nice. Look out now. Hey, don't tempt me with a good time. We all be late for work. <laughs> I'll just say it. I'll take two corn dogs. Hey, Grandma's doing spectacular. Y'all see her today at 10 o'clock. Y'all see her today at 10 o'clock. I hear you, Ron. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do got to get some stuff. Uh, they do. They snakes do uh, lie in pine needles. But they don't want to... They want to stay clear of me. I'm certified country boy like... Wow, help with your fence with love. Tell me, you sent a hundred dollars? Gracious girl, let me like that. Y'all help me like Thelma's donation toward the fence fund. Woo! Wow, how about that? So I gotta get um I gotta get my posts. I did not get my wooden posts, and I gotta get them um Excuse me. Every oil. Okay. Yeah, uh, I got to get my fence post because my corners, I got to have, I got to have three, and then I got to have posts running across. Uh, oopsie. So my posts, uh, my corners had to have five wooden posts in them. 
and then this corner had to have five wooden posts because that's what you stretch your fence uh i can't stretch the fence using them t posts what i did is i kind of did the pin the the <laughs> i kind of did the pin like i did the house um uh, i put my string up i drove my t posts around it i actually hadn't put my wooden post in yet but i got to do that Like, it, it's, man, I had no idea. Like, I thought I was just going to, uh, I thought I was just going to go slap me a fence up for the goats and all was good. There's a lot. There's a lot to that. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot to that. I didn't realize, like, like, so yesterday was right at $800. And then I got to spend another 200 on wooden posts. And somebody said, well, that's not a lot. <laughs> what? That's that's a pretty good bit. You can use the truck to stretch it. I can't get my truck back there. But I can get my Ranger back there. So I can stretch the fence. But I can't, you know, I can't have it tied off to a T-post and stretch it. Because I could pull the T-post over. Animals, that's what I'm talking about. Them animals are expensive, but so worth it. Yeah, I get a lot of joy out of the goats and chickens and guineas. And now that they're not making my mom and daddy want to go dive off the front porch with their hands behind their back, like face first, uh, it's a lot more enjoyable, you know. But could you imagine when you're so tired, you just want to put your hands behind your back and just go dive off the porch? Boy, have you had enough or what? <sighs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you name the baby goat yet? Um, I did. I'll get back with you on it. I hadn't actually called him the name uh, yet. So, yeah. Let me get back with you on it. I got to remember. Nothing. <laughs> nothing said I love you like. Sorry, what was your name again? <laughs> huh? <laughs> I like, I like Apollo. I don't know. I don't know if, if the mama name is Luna, name him Tick. I don't know, I like Apollo. Because he's got like, he's got these streaks down the side of his head just like mama. I got a picture of him. Um, and, and, uh. <laughs> yeah. You forgot. That's so funny. Hey, I'm just telling you. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, like Apollo. He, he's like... Um, I got a chick. I keep forgetting. There's a lady that told me she's blocked on here and... She said, I can watch, but I can't comment. My goat's name is Kobe and LeBron. <laughs> That's pretty funny there now. How about Moonshine? Because his name's Luna. <laughs> We're going to go with a parlor for 200, Alex. Well, there you go. That's the Daily Double. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Bama, sweetheart. Hey, thank you. I got your present. It's on the dash of my truck, you know? 
I keep waiting to open it live, but you know, when you put it on the dash of the truck, um, it's kind of hard to remember, but I got it. I did. I don't want you to think I forgot. I got enough yahoos in the floor to start a Kool-Aid stand. I'm telling you. So I got to go get my posts. It's on the dash of the truck along with everything else. Just saying. That's, that ain't entirely correct. Most of it's behind me on this counter. Like... Like, I mean, I don't know if you've ever did the 240 Slim Jim Challenge. But if you ever did the 240 Slim Jim Challenge, let me know, okay? Uh, this is like Slim Jim World's record. I mean... Can you do it? Can it be done? You know, can you eat them in the time it takes for that spire? You know, that's the question. And the question is, you're absolutely correct. It can be done and will. You got to go. All right, Mama, I love you. One lady said, one lady said she peels the skin off these. Could you imagine? <coughs> by, the, <coughs> by the time, <coughs> she said, by the time you eat all them, you may not never want another one. <laughs> I did that one time with biscuit and gravy from Popeye's. Whoopsie. Um. Me and my buddy, like, we have a biscuit and gravy eating contest. We are going to see how many we could eat. Okay. I got me eight orders of biscuit and gravy. Let me just tell you, I won. Okay. I ate eight biscuits about that big around with gravy on them. And I won. But I got sick. I can tell you right now, I still to this day have not ate another Biscuit and gravy from uh, Popeyes. I'm talking about it was good too. I remember how good it was. But then our Popeyes went out of business. And then they built another across town that was new. That's also the place where I pull up to get a. Uh, I wanted six biscuits with honey. And the woman said, You know they ate a nice Santa piece, don't you? I was like, Well, in that case, give me 12. I just felt the need to I'll see you, Daddy. So, I didn't even eat 12. But I had to buy 12. It was, I had, it was, it was my duty, you know.
I done that before, you know. I went to went to Chris's Corner. If you don't know what Chris's Corner is, it's about the same thing as Flash Foods. Except Chris's Corner knows he's he's a bigger guy. Nothing against bigger people. I'm just telling you, that man knows how to cook breakfast. He knows how to season it. You ain't got to get no salt packs. You ain't got to get... He cooks it like Chris is the owner. And he... You ever seen the owner actually work? That's what I did. I never left my job. Uh, but he owned it. But he ran the kitchen. He's the type of person that's got the blue... Apron on, flour all over it. Like, uh, flour on his hat. And he'll ring you up. He's also, not only is he a client, but he is the CEO. That joker always got good business. He's a good cook and, again, a people person. How's your mama? Oh, yeah. Well, tell I said, hey. Sure will. That goes a long way. It's customer service. You know? Like I say, nothing against anybody. Say you want to call your bank, you know. Something happened. Hello, what are you doing? Hard, please. I'm like, here we go. You know? Here we go. I always say, do you have anyone speak of English? I'm telling you right now. It's game on. When I call somebody and they like, what are you doing? Start with your first name, please. That's my cue. Now I got to be foreign. I can't help it. I have to. Now, we having us a foreign conversation. Because now I'm foreign. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. I come programmed to like, now I want to do it. Y'all do that. Yeah, I seen Yankee Daddy said to go back and read his matches. I seen Daddy say get to Grandma's early. Like, like go right now. Like, like go now. <laughs> I ain't no secret. Everything that goes in this right hand is what they can't sell. Like. Everything else on the hog, they can, whoopsie, been a day to day, ain't it? Everybody, like, everything on the hog they can sell, they sell. This is the stuff they couldn't figure out how to sell. So they make jerky out of it. So yeah, sometimes you'll be finding what I just found, hog lips. With an S. So, <sighs> might have been what I had just then. <clears throat> Save this one for later.
Sometimes I just get a vivid image of it. Talk me out of it for a minute. Note yourself when you have a cut with a section in it like this, go and rinse it out with hot water ahead of time. You'll thank yourself later. gonna call this chunky boy Tuesday but I don't know if you ever had these in the freezer what I'm saying if you have never put these in the freezer don't never start I'm telling you right now That was a nice way to say them parts that are kind of processed in meats. Oh, you can count on it. I gotta come for breakfast, Steven. <laughs> mm-hmm. Feels good to be loved, don't it? Mm-hmm. Yes, it does. I might have another piece of chocolate on that one. This is so I can get my shrimp up, you know? Where's the sausage, egg, and cheese grits? Hmm. That's a good question. Beer to Granny, I got your note. It was beautiful. Thank you for your letter. Stephen, do you understand? Grandma is upset. It was a very sweet letter, too, even though you told me not to tell nobody. Sorry. <laughs> what? What is it? Yeah. Oh. Hey, like I overlook, I don't overlook your message. I, it's hard to look at all the messages. Well, let me go down there then.
Okay. All right. Bye. Yeah, I got to go. Hmm. Let me get it. You know? Let me get it. <laughs> hmm. Got him. Let's see. Whew. Think I got everything moving right along.
listen here. Good job, my baby bunny. Well, Appreciate y'all watching this morning. Coffee with Steven. I know I let y'all down yesterday. Like town takes, it's, it's too much. Like being in town, trying to record and going in all these places. And the, and the playing music and like the sound. I've never seen nobody put metal on a porch. I've never seen nobody put roofing metal on a porch. You never know what you're gonna see around here. That's something brand new there. I can't say they's the first one to do that. That's the first. I've seen a lot of things. That's the first right there. <laughs> At least they're making it look, look nice, you know. I ain't never, never, uh, I ain't never talked about nobody trying to make the place look nice, you know. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Making it look nice. Making me look good again. Loving on. Pull me back in. And here we go, baby, yeah. Making me look good again. So I got a letter for Grandma right here. I got it right here. I'm going to give it to her. And I also got a package right here from Bama Sweet Mama. Oh, she sent me some, she sent me some hair bows. She said... Get your hair out your face. Thank you. I wear the fire out of them. That's the difference between uh, that's the difference between me and everybody else. I wear the fire out of these. It don't bother me a drop. You think it bothers me? I'll show you. Wear one in a minute. Well, I'm to the home 20 operation. See what grandma's got going on. Hey, I love y'all. She'll be live at 10 o'clock. I'm finna go help her troubleshoot what's going on right now. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.